Ramanujan, this is Ekalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given linear differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve dy by dx plus 2y tan x equals to sin x. Solution. Given differential equation. dy by dx. Plus 2y tan x equals to sin x. Okay. We know that the standard form of linear equation is. Standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx plus p into y. Equals to q. Right. So, by comparing these two, we can say that the given equation is in linear equation in y form. Right. Again, by comparing these two, we'll get p equals to 2 tan x and q equals to sin x. Or you can write the equation as dy by dx plus 2 tan x. 2 tan x into y equals to sin x, okay, which is in dy by dx plus p into y equals to q form, right. Which is in linear equation in y form, where? P equals to 2 tan x and Q equals to sin x. So here P and Q are functions of x, right? P and Q are functions. Fine. Now, we need to find the integrating factor. We know that the integrating factor I f is given by e power integral p dx. Okay. Now using this formula, we'll find the integrating factor to the given equation. Integrating factor equals to e power integral. P dx is equal to e power integral p 2 tan x dx. Let's write the constant outside the integral. You get 2 integral tan x dx. Since we know that integral tan x dx is log mod secant x plus c. So here we will not write constant. Okay. We will write the constant in general solution directly. Z equals to e power 2 integral tan x dx is log mod secant x is equal to e power 2 log secant x. We know that m log n can be written as log n power n. Then you can write 2 log secant x as log secant x whole square which is equal to e power log secant x whole square can be written as secant square x and also we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x then from this e power log function of x will be equals to function of x, secant square x. So, here our integrating factor is secant square x. Secant square x. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given equation. We know that the general solution of the linear equation y is given by y into
the general solution of linear equation is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now, using this formula, we will find the general solution to the given equation. Okay. The general solution to the given equation is given by y into integrating factor secant square x equals to integral q sin x into integrating factor secant square x into dx plus c. Okay. Is equals to sin x into you can write secant square x as secant x into secant x. We will simply split secant square x into secant x into secant x. Okay. Then y secant square x equals to integral sin x into c. We know that secant x equals to reciprocal of cos x. Then we can replace 1 secant x by 1 by cos x. Then you'll get 1 by cos x into this will remain the same. Secant x into dx plus c. Then y secant square x equals to integral. You can write sin x into 1 by cos x as sin x by cos x into secant x dx plus c which is equal to since we know that sin x by cos x equals to tan x then you can replace this by tan x into secant x dx plus c Since we know that integral tan x secant x dx equals to secant x plus c, right? This becomes y secant square x equals to Integral secant x tan x is, sorry, tan x secant x dx is secant x, then you'll get secant x plus c, which completes the problem. So, we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.